Hey guys, we're back. Chris here, CJ Gaming, carrying right on from the last episode. This is episode three. Thank you all for coming back and watching. Um, like always, if you uh, like the video, please don't forget to click the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really does mean a lot. So anyway, carrying on straight from our last mission, we have got to go to the space station right here. Um, some things I did off camera, I was just running around the, uh, the previous planet we were on really and um, just exploring really, checking out some of the anomalies and things, nothing really any difference changed um, apart from the units that we've got to up to a bit, I think I'm on about a million units now. So, random rock out there. Okay, so just need to find the entrance and for the life of me I cannot do this. Ah, there we go. Let's try and get in here without crashing, that would be awesome. Oh, here we go, here we go. And we're in. Nice! Uh, so as in the previous episode, I think it was episode one actually, we have already been here. Uh, so there's not really going to be much for us to do, I don't think. The only thing I did miss, though, I believe there is somewhere on each space station where you can upgrade your exosuit for an extra um, storage slot. So, we, obviously, we didn't do that when we were here last. So I'm just going to have a look, see if I can see where it is. Um, I think this is empty, this one. No, nope, nothing in there. I think it might be over the other side with the vendors, actually. I don't think oh, there are vendors over here. That looks like ships. I really want a new scanner. This guy doesn't talk to me. Oh, maybe he will. Oh, we've got to talk to everyone anyway, so I might as well. Repeat the code. Nothing. Uh, oh. Place of interest, nice. I'm sure we already got that off of someone, but oh well. Um, same again. Found someone around here with some information. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, repeat the code. Rubbish. I've noticed as well that um, any ships that come anywhere near you, like that they land, that land near you, you can go and look at them, compare them to yours, and you can offer to buy them off the person as well, which is uh, really cool. I've seen a couple, but they look awful in comparison, so I've kept the one I've got for now. Ah, here we go. The code is echoed back to me through the red glare, transforms into a set of coordinates. The light fades and the life form stares at me, or glares at me. Whatever has happened, they don't appear to have witnessed it. I should leave and find whatever has been left for me. Nice. So we got the signal for the alien monolith. Um... So I'm not going to go just yet. I'm going to see if I can upgrade my suit. Inventory, as in most games, is a real pain in this. So, have we got this guy? Yeah. Uh, so, and even one extra slot will be amazing right now. No, not in there. Oh. 
Might actually be able to afford some of these now. Oh, definitely not. A million away from that. No, no, don't do that again. I want to talk to this guy. Yeah, so I really want an up upgraded scanner that um, gives you more units for scanning everything. Because I really do scan everything, so anything like that would be great. Um, I can't remember what they're under, though. Um, is it not that, is it? Scan radius, no. Terrain destruction, rapid fire projectile, scatter shot. No, no none of them. I think this is the wrong guy actually to talk to. This is the weapon, the weapon guy. But I'm still gonna have a look through. Oh no, scanner module. I think there's an S one somewhere. Typical. He hasn't got it. Um, increase. Ex Plasma launch. Oh, there's a B rank scanner module. Significant upgrade for the multi tool scanning systems. Use X to begin the upgrade installation process. Upgrade scan radius as well as dramatically increasing the value of discovered data. That is kind of what I want. So, B rank is better than nothing. Uh, putting our clusters way down there. Right, let's see if we can get this on. Multi tool. I'm going to put it right here. Uh, no, not the advanced. Actually, is it? Is it on here? It goes. Does it go on my suit? I'm not actually too sh sure. Sorry, guys. Not done this before. So, oh, do I click on this? Technology cargo. I've not actually looked at the technology side of any of these actually. So this is completely new. Alright, let's try this. Technology. Nope. Technology. Nothing. What? So the only thing I've got is this mining laser. I'm doing something wrong here. Sorry guys, I'm being a bit of a noob. Alright, let me talk to this guy and see where it, where these things show up. Right, yeah. Wonderful, yes, come on. So, it's a scanner module, but obviously it's a... Oh, there we go, that's the one I've got. Um, I can't look at it. So, scanner module C. Um, scanning system upgrade, a moderate upgrade. So, do I automatically have this now? Do I need to do anything with it? Maybe I don't. So it's for the scanner. Like obviously I can't do anything with that. Uh I'm at a loss. Guys, I'm gonna have a play around. See what I have to do, and then I'll bring you guys back. Right, hi guys, I'm back again. As expected, yes, I was being an idiot. Um, so I bought um, I bought the upgrade. It goes into your inventory, okay? So then you press X on it to install, go to your multi-tool, and put it in. It seems like they're also random, the stats you get on them. So the one I actually got was just a scan radius of 16%, so beyond useless, really. But I bought... Um, this one as well for uh, the C class one. It was only about 40 clusters, but as you can see at the top, I've got two left. But the reward for scanning fauna is plus 1,893%. So I imagine the units I'll get for it are, will be unbelievable. Um, so I've put them both in for now. I will get rid of the scan radius one because I, I don't really see myself using that. Um, oh, nice actually. I, if I start getting some chromatic metal as well, I can get rid of the short-circuited ones. Yeah, so there you each need 200. So there's, there's two of them, so... Oh, three of them, actually. So if I get 600 chromatic metal next time I'm on the planet, uh, I can get three more slots in my multi-tool, which is cool. 
Uh, let's see what this guy's got, but actually I haven't got any way of buying anything, so... All my clusters are gone, so that is useless. Um, ah, this is what I was looking for, I think. Exosuit upgrade. So there we go. Now I believe... There we go. Upgrade to 5,000 units. And I think... Whoop, and then I think it goes up. So the next one will be 10,000. And I think it goes up by 10,000 every time. I may be mistaken. It might be 5. Uh, so... Easy as that, 5,000 units, and we've got an extra slot in our exosuit, which is really cool because we need as much space as possible. And I really need to get rid of some of these. I just wish there was a way of like scanning the planet all with all of these in one go. Having to do it one by one is really time consuming. So, awesome, right? So, we're ready to go on our way again. Let's get back to the ship. Let's see if there's any more around here, but I don't think there are. And we will head to the next mission. Okay, okay. Where are we going? Me. I'm looking at. I'm actually looking at the radar at the top. I'm getting confused, thinking that was another. Oh my god, what's happening? I can't go up. There we go. Strange uh, controls going on there. It's kind of really hard to steer. Now I'm slightly. Slowly getting there, slowly, surely, and two, one. Oh wow, going straight, straight on its own. Huh? Awesome. I really hope I can get that. If that is a ship. Maybe. Uh, I don't know actually. Maybe. Maybe. Hop up here. Oh god. Oh, there's a ladder. There's stairs. Okay, log damage, partial record. Signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Pilot's log. Let's get that. And we get another strange sequence of numbers followed by a short message. We'll take the schematic for a hyperdrive. For a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone places here after the crash, hoping it would be found. 
So that needs five microprocessors and 125 chromatic metal. I might actually start making some chromatic metal. Oh, oh, there we go. So I believe copper, is that right? Yes. Put the carbon in. So we've got 125 going for now. We'll need more than that because we need about 600 just for the multi tool. Construct the hyperdrive. Buy microprocessors from a space station. Oh god, I don't want to go out of the space station. Out to the space station, rather. I might have a have a look around first. Is this a new? This might be a new planet. Can I scan things? It's not around here. Let's go to the cargo pod. Magnetized ferrite. <laughs> Don't think we got any ferrite on us. Cobalt. No, there doesn't seem to be anything around here either. Any rocks we can get? Is that one? Oh. Doesn't look like it. Well, this is out of range. Yep, we'll have discovered all of these. Um, this won't count as corner, will it? 200. Have we seen these? Yep. Oh! Still need to get that advanced mining laser. Go away. Really? For some rocks. Okay guys, so um I'll go back, get those microprocessors and I'll be right back, okay? Hey guys, so we've, uh, we're back. I got back to the station, um, bought four microprocessors, and I think we're done now. We've created the warp driver now. The mission just said search among the stars. Uh, search for a mysterious messenger. Look for clues with the starship scanner. So that scans. Locate the broadcast station, which is right there. Right in five days. <laughs> right, so we're on another planet again that we've already discovered. It's a bit of a shame, but that's fine. Pulse engine offline. Space station proximity. Okay, Let's get away from the space station. Oh, didn't mean to use my rocket. Let's get some more of this. Just a, this tritium you actually use for. Um, Kill your ship, so it's really handy to have. If we can find it. Get to it now. Right, there we go. That'll do. Just gonna do a little bit each time we um, travel, just uh, to keep our inventory full. So now we just head into this anomalous broadcast. I do hope that you guys are enjoying uh, watching these videos as much as I am playing them. Um, this is the uh, first sort of like space type game I've played in a while and uh, I really enjoy it actually. I don't know how, what it was like before, um, before the update but it seems really cool right now. Into the atmosphere, yep. I need to 
face the right way, which would be good. But yeah, I'm uh, really enjoying playing it at the moment, so I hope you guys are enjoying watching. And we're going to come in for a landing there. Awesome. So yeah, it's a shame we've uh, been on this planet and discovered everything, because I want to see what our new scanner's like. Uh, have we got this? Oxygen recycler. Okay, so we can't do that yet. Need a filter. Um, I'm sure we had something somewhere that... Technology. Yeah, I'm sure we had a new technology for something. Is it from the multi-tool? Nope. Well, not I can see anyway. Did we not make chromatic metal? Oh, we, did we use it up? I'm sure we used using it. Oh, no, we got one. Maybe we used it. We'd really like to make some space on these. Uh, ion batteries and microprocessors. Maybe next time we're in the space station, we'll make clear some space for those. Now, actually... I'm going to use this opportunity to show it, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure you do, but really easy way to make money is from these things, these eggs. Inside of them there's uh, something like a ball, bright ball thing that will um, you can sell. I think they sell for about 25,000 each. Um, thing is, once you hit an egg, it will spawn lots of enemies and they're quite powerful. So really easy thing to do, to burrow it underground underneath these, the eggs float so you just, so you just they're the things that spawn, but they won't come down here I don't think, so you right, just annoying so there we go, that's the larval core as you can see, oh 61,000 units each so it's a crazy amount really, oh god is he coming down no, no. so yeah, you just sit at the bottom here Hit the eggs. I tend to do about two or three at a time because the movement's not great, uh, as you can see. So it's quite hard to pick them up sometimes. There we go, and they will disappear quite quick. So there we go. Four cores, quarter of a million, quite quickly. Uh, I will show you what they're like, but so they do go a bit crazy. They don't actually climb up either, so you can sit up here and see them. But uh, let's recharge the life support. They don't have too much health, you look. See? But there's quite a few of them, so it's probably the safest way just to burrow underground. So you just make a little tunnel. Down we go. And they will despawn after a while and go back underground, so you don't have to worry too much. Oop. So yeah, they stack to five, so three hundred thousand per stack. You know, two or three stacks, and you've got a good amount of money already. Here we come. So, uh, oh, one's on me. Where am I going? I'm going low. There we go. Get an idea of the area. If you see a few eggs, chances are they'll be around the entire structure. No, there's some more there. Some more there. So, I'll quickly round these up. You guys don't need to watch this. Uh, and then I'll be right back when we carry on the mission. Okay guys, so I rounded everything up. And just got inside and we've come to this control panel. Uh, so we got rid of the slime, the panel opens, uh, deposits a sample of antimatter accompanied by a strange message. So we'll read the message, take the antimatter, you will find us when the time is right. And all the 16s yet again. So antimatter housing is just oxygen and ferrite dust, which we can easily do. We'll take some research specimens, anything else, damaged machinery, sodium nitrate. Oh. Ooh. 
learn a word. Oh, the Viking word for ancients. Okay, so let's get this refiner. Let's make the sodium nitrate. I think it was five we needed, wasn't it? Sodium. We got carbon. Yep. So we want five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let's take that out. Take that out. And pick up this. That's pretty painless. Okay, so if we fix this, there better be something good in it. <clears throat> 30 nanite clusters. And that is everything. Oh well, that's better than a kitchen thief. I suppose nanite clusters are good for upgrades. Let's have a look around here for anything else. That is just... Okay, that's a light. Um, an ally of the Viking now, oh, nice. Great. Oxygen capsules, oh, for God's sake. See, oxygen capsules just take up a spot just on their own. So much navigation data as well, it's annoying. Uh, well, let's get rid of this. Buy hydrogen, we can pick up more if we need to. Ammo? What is this? Stop. That's oh, a thousand units. Weird. Right, okay, so that's done. Um, I'm just going to do something outside. What was it? Oh yeah, maybe get rid of the navigation data that I've got. They're extremely annoying, craft of water. <laughs> I think I keep forgetting about that. Oh, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of them. Really confusing that sentinel over there. I have no idea what's destroying it. That 50? Oh, I thought there was a couple more when it came over there. 50, okay. Construct antimatter housing, and yet we're going to be full on our inventory yet again. Is there anything in here I can get? Let's get rid of that. Advanced ion battery. I'm not sure. Do I need that? Oh, I don't know. What can we transfer over? Transfer the hermetic seals for now. Um, they are for our multi-tool slots, as you can see here. Hermetic seals and microprocessors and an iron and ion batteries we need to clear up some space in there so next time at a space station I'll do that and we're just gonna craft the housing and oh now I need a space for the crate of warp cell right let's get rid of the dust warp cell and I'm assuming I'm gonna yeah fuel the hive drive so antimatter goes in Make your way into space, and I'm assuming now we're going to jump to a different system. Now we've got the fuel for it. So, space theory, can't what call it the planet. stick to select the next system.
Okay, 96 light years away. And we'll... Should we walk to that? Oh, yeah, we're going. Huh, awesome, look at that. Maybe we should screenshot that. Ching. There's going to be... Uh, between that picture and the giant animal we had. Oh no, the giant animal was episode two, so I'm getting confused. I'm actually going on holiday, um, or vacation, depending on where you're from, uh, on Sunday. Uh, so in a few days, I'm trying to get as many videos together as I can to re uh, release on while I'm away over the two weeks. Okay, so we are at the Biogresses. No free slots. Of course, let's just get rid of the platinum. Search for clues. Oh. Scan to pinpoint the source. I might actually go to the space station and end this video here. Yeah, right, let's quickly go to the space station. Go, go, go. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's an Earth looking planet over there, if you saw. That's really cool. Initiating docking procedure at Biogra 16 Cyclers Space Station. Awesome. So I think we'll call it a day there. Guys, thanks for watching yet again. You guys have been really amazing. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to show you've liked the video. Um, subscribe for those that haven't. And that's it for today. So I'll see you in the next episode.